So here's a little look at the new uh, 2017 Giant Anthem 2. Uh, it's a brand new frame for this year. So it's got boost spacing, which means you've got 110mm wide fork and 148mm on the rear, just to make the wheels a little bit stiffer to push the spoke flanges out a little bit. Um, on this one you've got full SLX group set. Um, really really nice SLX cranks. The new SLX stuff looks really premium. You would compare that to like XTR maybe 10 years ago it looks really really nice. Big old cassette on the back, it's 1x11. Don't think the Shimano 1x11 is quite on par with the SRAM 1x but it's getting there. You also got the clutch on the SLX Mech as well which works really well. Um, on the new Anthems, all the new uh, Maestro Giant Bikes 2017, you've got the one piece carbon rocker arm and the trunnion mounted shock there instead of putting it through the, the sort of narrow pinion on the on traditional shock mounts it's supposed to give a bit more stiffness in in bending that way um, one piece carbon rocker arm is supposed to be a lot stiffer adds a bit of stiffness to the linkage just taking out those extra sort of bearing to bearing interfaces add a bit more lateral stiffness really nice to see that you can just kind of see the UD carbon finish under the paint there. What's not so good though is that you know you've got that really nice feature there and then these pretty gummy welds on the rear triangle. Um, and it's the same on the Anthem 1 which is you know the top end Anthem aluminium bike. You've got the really nice feature there but the welds just look a little bit cheap. I mean they're fine but they they could be nicer. If you look at you know the bikes of Canyon and Trek seem to do a better job of hiding the, the beefy welds quite well. Um, that's just one little thing. Paint job on these new bikes has, has stepped up a lot from last year. Uh, I think Giant have had a lot of feedback on the quality of paint and kind of lost it's lost some of the orange peel effect that the, some of the old paint jobs had. Um, but in total, it's a really really nice bike. Few things that I'd probably not be happy with though. So there's a trend nowadays for even you know XC bikes list XC bikes like this to get longer travel. So you've got 110 in the back here and 120 in the front, which makes it more like the old Anthem SX. So slightly slacker at the front, slightly lower bottom bracket, a bit more comfortable going down hills. Um, as is the case with these longer travel bikes, and the trend is also to have fatter tyres and Obviously with the boost fork at the front, you've got easy enough space in there to put a nice 2.5 tyre. And seeing as this bike is going a bit more trail orientated, the clearance on the back isn't great. It's all right up at the seat stays, but down in the chain stays there, it's not massive. This is a, a 2.25 I believe, Schwalbe. Um, and I don't know. Being, being this a bit more trail orientated than the last Anthem XC bikes, I think you should have slightly more clearance for a fat tyre in there just to make this bun bike really, really fun going downhill. Um, another thing to think about when all these bikes are going to the boost spacing is, you know, the benefits come from having the wider flanges on the hubs, so the triangulation effect can be greater from the spokes to give a stiffer wheel laterally. But you'll find a lot of the wheels are being carried over from last year or the year before when the manufacturers didn't know about boost and to save money they've just put longer end caps on the end of the hubs and so the width of the flanges are actually not that different so you can see here on the boost fork that flange could be much wider same on the other side as well they could push it closer to the disc um, to get this, the wider wheel, but what looks like they've done is use the same wheel set to save cost and just put a, a, essentially a spacer or a longer end cap on e either side of the hub to, to fill the boost spacing. So you've got to be, you know, you've got to watch out when you get these boost frames. You're not instantly going to get a stiffer wheel because they might just be using longer end caps on the hubs. These Fox rhythms are nice, quite stiff, 34 mil stanchion. 
would prefer to see a nice rock shocks on there. I just think at this price point, the rock shocks are a smoother fork, something like a Yari. 120 mil Yari or something on there would be nicer. I mean, and this is not a factory fork, so, you know, it's built to a price, but a Yari, I think, would be nicer. Great paint scheme on this bike. Really, really nice. Nice finishing kit on the bars and stem as well. It's quite a nice lightweight combo. Nice wide bar, quite a lot of sweep on it. Um, again, the giant dropper posts kind of built for a price. You saw about all the shadows and it's quite bright today. Play. This bike's brand new. I know dropper posts aren't, you know, they are they are mechanical systems and they're not entirely rigid, but there's a little bit of slop side to side in that in that dropper post. And they're all different. Some of them are better than others. But this one's got a bit of play, a bit of rock front and back, side to side. Saddle's quite nice, quite comfy out of the box. Obviously being a mountain bike with all that compliance in the back, saddle choice is less important than your roadie or something. But uh, I mean the defining feature of this bike I think is the colour scheme and the the new SLX, especially the chain set. I mean it looks exactly the same as the XT. I mean it's a bit heavier but really nice machine finish on these. Just try and focus that camera. Really nice machine finish on these. You got the sort of triangular shape feature on the chainring just to add so much stiffness to these one by chain rings. So obviously for the one by you've got a massive range of chain tension from when you're in the largest sprocket to the smallest sprocket. Which means that you know you've got a much wider range of chain tension on and then sort of tangential force on the single training than you'd have on a triple or a double. Hence the need to make the single chain rings much stiffer. Especially because they're being sort of pulled that way and that way. They need to be kept nice and stiff. Again, it's got the narrow wide feature on the chain rings to add a little bit of help for the chain line. It's obviously not ideal having a one by, everyone knows that. Um, now, this has actually got a Shimano chain on it. And you'll know a lot of the giant bikes come with KMC chains. Uh, again, probably a cost thing. And the KMC chains do not like one by. They don't like running on the angle. Whereas these Shimano chains have got a bit more angular compliance built into them, so they they don't mind about the chain line so much. Really, really nice uh, Fox Float DPS on there. Works really well. Nice um, compression adjustment, and the rebound damping is is not just on and off. There is a really nice gradual. Uh, increases on the on the rebound damping so you'll find some shocks have maybe I don't know let's say six or nine clicks on the rebound knob but only one of them will actually make any drastic change whereas this one it works really well you, you can definitely feel the the jumps nice like incremental jumps in, in the amount of damping on there um, so yeah really nice bike probably if you to, first thing you'd upgrade maybe reverb dropper post and for me, I think wider tyres, uh, particularly the back one, probably probably a 2.35 is probably the biggest you're going to fit in there, which is a shame because this has gone a bit more trail orientated on the on the anthem. A chunkier tyre would be a little bit more fun. Up to the bars, nice giant lock-on grips, really nice. SLX shifters are really slick. Not SLX brakes though, so you've got the standard M6-15 Shimano brakes, which are not SLX, but they work just as well once they're bedded in. And the giant thumb shifter for the dropper post is a little bit cheap feeling. Um, it's just a shame giants still spec these dropper posts when other manufacturers like Canyon and Trek have got much nicer sort of stock offerings. But there we go. 2017 Anthem 2.